Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Force's round 882, and the problem is Heyman Odyssey, and this is the second problem. So let's see what the problem states. So the story, right? The first the story goes like there is a person called as Jonathan. Okay, and this Jonathan is like a very courageous guy. There are also like uh, N minions, okay? These are not normal minions, these are called vampire minions. And these vampire minions are really deadly here. So there are like N minions here. And each of the minion will have a strength like A1, A2, AN. And this A, each of the strength AI can have a value in the range of 0 to 10 power 9. It's like a whole number. Now, uh, since Jonathan is like an adventurous guy, he wants to kill all of them. He wants to defeat all of them. So, simply defeating means he should have some gun or something, right? Here, nothing like that. There is some strategy that they are telling. What the strategy is, Jonathan knows this secretly. Like, what he does is, he wants to divide these guys into set of, uh, like, X groups, okay? He wants to divide these into set of X groups. When he divides them into a group, their strength will automatically become the bitwise and of uh, those numbers. So, what I mean by that is, let's say, uh, he divides them into three groups. See, it is continuous subarray. Okay, he, this guy can't come here, and uh, everyone should be part of one group. So he can just uh, divide them into a set of groups. After dividing them into set of groups, the collective strength, right? It will be the bitwise and of each of the numbers. So a one and a two and a three is the G one's uh, strength, and similarly for G two, it will be a four numbers and a five numbers and a six, and similarly for G three. Now, what our problem is, we want to minimize the sum of, we want to minimize what G1 plus G2 plus G3 should be minimized. We are only telling G1, G2, G3. It can be the case that you can simply take G1, G2, G3, G4 also or G1 also. So it can be G1 plus G2 plus G3 plus G4 or G1 or anything. But the value at last will be minimum or should be minimum. That's what we should report. So, how many groups that he can form such that the value is minimum? But there can be a confusion that if the value is minimum for multiple groups, which group should he take? He should take the total maximum number of groups. Suppose G1, G2, G3 gives a value X and G1, G2, G3 and G4 also gives a value of X. He should report the number 4. There are 4 groups that gives the value of X. So think uh, like logically like uh, in that story, he wants to defeat them uh, individually. So if the groups, if the number of people are less in the group, he wants to fight it, right? He, it will be easier for him to fight. So uh, since the their strength is less, he will go to G1 and defeat them, G2 and defeat them, G3 like that similarly he will go. So our problem is we need to, uh, so in coding sense it's like, you have a set of numbers from A1 to a AN, you want to group those numbers and uh, once you group those numbers, you want to take the bitwise AND of each of the groups such that the sum of all these groups should be minimum. So we should follow a strategy and report the maximum number of group that is possible to have the minimum sum. Okay. I know it might be confusing but let's see the example and then we'll be able to relate. So let's say that here 1, 2, 3. There are 3 vampires with the strength of 1, 2, 3. So there are many ways to split, right? You can split like 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3 together or 1, 2 and 3 separately also you can do. So in this case there are 2, group, two is the groups uh, here 1 group and here there are 3 groups. What happens if everything is together? So let's say for 1, 2, 3, right? So it is 0, 1 in binary form, 2 is 1, 0 and 1, 1. So if any 1, 0 comes across the plates, it will be 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, this is 0. So 0 is the minimum value we got for G1. Now they reported that 1 is the answer. But let's wait, let's understand like what happens with others. So 0, 1 is here for group 1 and 2 and 3 for this 1, 0. So for 1, 0 and 1, 1, what is the bitwise and this is 1 and this is 1, this is 1, 0, right? This is, the value is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So for 2 groups, uh, with this combination you are getting the value as 3 which is much greater than this so we are not reporting 2 here and if it is 1 2 3 it will be 1 2 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 so for 3 groups you are getting a value as 6 it is much higher than the value we got as 0 okay suppose in some cases uh, you can get uh, 
like if there are three or four groups you can get the value as zero in that case you should report four so we'll see the like next example we'll be able to understand it further more two three one five two so it is two three one five two we will write this in binary format that is one zero one one this is zero one and this is one zero one and it is one zero now uh, what happens if we take uh, as g1 we'll take everything in one group only if it will be one group means one zero one one zero one one zero one since this place is there these are all we'll just proceed it with the zeros this is zero one zero now for first one it is zero for first one it is zero and uh, the ones tens and hundreds place is also zero so for g1 we got a zero okay wait for one for group one we got the value of zero zero is the minimum value we can get okay this is log but they are proposing one more strategy can we split it in a different form and they are telling that you can split it into two three one and five two if it is two three one it is one zero one one and zero one what is the value here this is zero and this is also zero okay and what is five two this is one zero one and two is one zero so i proceed it with zero 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 so for uh, group one it is also zero and for group two in the second strategy group two this is also zero so zero plus zero is how much zero so if there is only one group together you are getting the value of zero if there are two groups also you are getting the value of zero so we need to report the maximum number of groups so for the maximum number of groups we got zero only right the minimum value only so we'll report two here and that's how we got two so you can find any other strategy also you can try two three one five and two you might get a higher number but the groups might be minimum or maximum something like that now five seven twelve six so for uh, five seven twelve six it can be we'll just work out here so it is one zero one uh, five seven twelve six this is one 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 twelve is how much eight four two one uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1, 0, 0. So I hope, uh, okay. Now uh, 6 is uh, 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 0. So I proceed it with zeros. Now if we take everything under one group, it will be 0. This also will be 0. This will be 1 and this will be 0. So the value is 4 for only one group. There can be cases that uh, it might be uh, for uh, if there are multiple groups the value will be less you can just find out but in the answer they told it is only for one group and i'm pretty sure uh, the one group means they have took all the numbers and the value we got is four now uh, how to do it so that's the question uh, so uh, first thing first thing what did we observe is there are uh, what are the constraints the constraints they told that uh, here as you see here there are 0 to 10 power 9 numbers right so can i say that like uh, if there are any zeros in middle can i directly count it as one can i separate this guy and separate it is it possible maybe that might be possible because if it is like 0 1 0 2 these are all four numbers okay this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 and this is a4 because if 0 and 1 is 0 0 and 2 is also 0 this is one possibility but as we saw earlier 1 2 3 together is also following 0 that is 1 number 2 is also following 0 so this is not a bit generalized so we need to make it generalized first thing they told is every vampire should be part of one group or the other so if it is like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 the best that we can do is we continuously traverse the array whenever we get a zero we stop there whenever we get a zero we stop there and we start as a new guy from the next one so you might think that okay new guy if he comes it might be a bigger number right so let's say what i'm trying to tell is if a1 a2 a1 and a2 and a3 if it gives zero i'm stopping it here and i'm incrementing the count to one so there is at least one group that is having minimum exist and a4 a5 can have zero then a6 so i'm just going through this a1 a2 a3 this is a1 and a2 and a3 this is a4 and a5 and this is a6 only so count one then here count becomes two and count becomes three you will have one more doubt i'm pretty sure like 22 54 33 46 the count can be something like uh, four also right four or any random x number can happen now if you notice one thing here you take every number together you take the bitwise hand the bitwise hand let's call it as y okay now you take the bitwise hand of 2254 and 3346 this is b and this is c 
bitwise and of 22 and 54 is b bitwise and of 33 and 46 is c you should report what b plus c now what i say is that this b plus c value will always be greater than the total bitwise and of all of this very simple like you can try something like 10 20 30 if you take the bitwise and separately it will be let's say there are only one element in the loop it will be 10 plus 20 plus 30 so 10 plus 20 plus 30 is much greater than uh, it is much greater than 10 and 20 and 30 right so always it is possible to say that uh, if it is not zero we can just take directly all the elements because the sum will definitely be lesser zero is the only magical number that is having the bitwise and operation so i just keep iterating it whenever i am finding zero i just stop it then again i am taking a new uh, result then i am directly traversing it so it might be much better if i go through the code so i found uh, this code written by someone and it was so good like i just tried to modify it uh, based on what we try to observe so let's say that if there is only one number it's quite obvious that uh, the group will only be one group right right now i'm iterating through all the numbers right one two three five two suppose i start from sum and equal to v of i if i take sum as zero zero and v of i it will be zero right so what i did is we initially assigned the sum value as one now I iterate through all the numbers. So sum value is 1 and 1. 1 and 1 is sum value is 1. Sum value is not 0 here. Now I go again here. Sum 1 and 2. What is 1 and 2? 1 and 2 is how much? 1 and 2 is 0. So sum becomes what? It becomes uh, 0 here. So uh, 1 and 2 that is sum becomes 0. When sum becomes 0, I am immediately marking the count as 1. Now what I'm doing is, I'm stopping it here. I got zero, I'm just stopping it because this is one valid set. I am checking whether are there any other index or is it the last index, i plus one, any other index less than the last value exists or not, less than last n, the size exists or not. If it exists, I assign the v of i plus one to the sum. That is, I'm assigning some value as three, okay? Now I go again here, now three and three, I mean, already 3 is the default value because I took it here and 3 and 3 what is 3 and 3 3 and 3 is sum equal to 3 only sum is 0 here no now again you go to 5 that is uh, 3 is this 5 is what 1 0 1 now this is 1 and uh, this is also 1 zeros are 0 and this is also 0 so 0 0 1 here again sum, sum became what 1 now again 1 and 2 came that is on the next number it is sum is 1 and v of i is 2 as we know earlier 1 2 is 0 so sum again became 0 so count became 2 okay now sum equal to i plus 1 less than n that means what uh, this is the last index is there any i plus 1 less than n no i plus 1 will be equal to n right because this is 0 based index i plus 1 will be equal to n so sum will automatically be assigned 0 because there is no other element to iterate on so sum becomes 0 so the answer will be 2 here uh, that's the things now why did i write like if count equal to 0 count equal to 1 now imagine a case where uh, the thing like uh, same thing 5 7 12 6 if you take 5 7 12 6 you keep going right 5 some 5 and 7 is non zero 7 and 12 is non zero 12 and 6 is also non zero right so in that case we need to uh, we won't touch this count this count will come only if the sum value is zero so in that case if count equal to zero by default we'll count it as one because we are considering uh, there is at least one group so i know it's a bit tricky but uh, please work out uh, on your own so thank you so much and uh, this is the uh, solution i'll just link it in the description and if you have any doubts please comment it thank you